Uh, thanks for returning for uh, the second part of my December reviews. Um, I'll kick it off with um, Paper Girls number two. Uh, no, it's number three already. And um, Brian K. Vaughan's and Cliff Chung's uh, new image series, which is very, very entertaining. Um, we still don't exactly know what's happening. I will show you some of the art because I think it's it's really nice. I also like the coloring. Um, but like I said. Um, we're still not totally sure what this is all about. Um, a mysterious um, thing um, is happening. Uh, we, it's uh, it's an 80s setting um, in, in, in a suburban town in America and uh, we don't know, are, are those aliens, are those uh, some freakish creatures turn up and uh, a group of paper girls, like a clique of girls, um, is dealing with them. And um, it's, I mean, you know the, the, the style Brian K. Vaughan writes in. It's tongue-in-cheek, it's funny, it's, uh, it's very light uh, and entertaining. And uh, um, so um, is, it, um, is it something which you should purchase every, every month? I think so, because um, it's $3 and um, it's, it's a good value for, for what you get. So recommend it. Next one is... Um, one of two books by, by Tom King, um, which um, I will review. Um, it's Sheriff of Babylon, number one. I will show you some um, of the art, which is uh, very impressive. Um, you know, it's they rebuilt Baghdad in this comic. The Baghdad of 2004, I think, or five. Um, it's just um, very well drawn. I think um, it's a Vertigo number one, uh, one of their um, massive launch they they recently had in the past few months, um, and it's probably one of the best, if not the best, number one uh, out of this uh, of this uh, you you could say Vertigo relaunch they did, um, and it feels very Vertigo-y, in a, but more in a sculpt uh, um, or 100 bullets kind of way. Um, it's um, it's a portrait of uh, of the city and um, um, after the war. Um, it's told from three different perspective uh, perspectives, um, kind of a, of a Rashomon kind of uh, thing. You know, you you get to see um, you get to see different approaches to the problems that uh, that the city and the people had, and um, I think it's very cleverly built. Um, but still not, I can't really feel any emotional impact. Uh, the characters are still very rough and um, I guess this will be something for the collected edition. Um, it's, it doesn't read as well, I think, in single issues. Um, and this is a maxi series of eight issues, so I would recommend um, to wait for the collected edition. Uh, this, on the other hand, reads very well in single issues, and it's um, super nicely drawn um, by Mr. Gabriel Walter. Um, I didn't knew this uh, artist before, um, he's, um, I think, quite new, uh, but he does a tremendous job. Uh, Jordi Belair is coloring, um, great colors, again, and... Um, yeah, it's by the man of the hour, Tom King, um, and it's um, it's very well written. It's probably the best mainstream book out there, uh, the best DC, Marvel, superhero book. Because it's not about superheroes, probably. It's about a, f a family of, of androids, um, Vision's family, and um, they just try to fit in. They try to live their normal lives, but um, they are not normal, so problems occur, and... Um, it's, it's very entertaining, it's very, the writing style is very on spot and um, the voices of, of, of the androids, um, it, it feels very um, thought out and precise and uh, I think Tom King is, is the author to watch right now and uh, it's highly recommended. Month's first number two by Marjorie Liu and um, Sana Takeda. Um, I wrote. Uh, I, I said something in the first part of the December reviews about it, but I didn't do it justice. Um, I will show you some of the art, which is 
fantastic again. Um, but really, it's not the art that is capturing me. Um, you can say it's very densely told, like um, you don't get splash pages here, you don't get space wasted for one pretty picture. Um, it's a very dense story, uh, great dialogues. Um, and last time I said I was kind of lost uh, in the midst of, of the story, and uh, it's true, it's, 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 um, it's not something that you can, um, you can glance over, you have to focus on it, but um, at the end of the issue I, I felt very confident that this is heading in a very interesting direction, and um, I think this is one of the strongest titles out now, and uh, definitely one of Image's best launches, and you should definitely give it a shot. Um, this is Axed, number one, by Black Mask. Um, it's, it's hard to explain what's going on. It's, uh, it's a bit um, Charlie Kaufman-y uh, in a way that, um, as much as I understood, it's about an agency or a service where um, people can get into heads of other people and solve solutions for them. So... Um, I will show you some of the artwork, which is quite nice, I would say. I also like the coloring. And regarding the story, though, um, I, I, can, I can't really tell you too much about it. It's still building up. It's a setup issue. The characters are not there yet, I would say. Um, but um, I really like Black Mask and um, I think you should give it a shot if you're into, um, let's say, kind of a vertigo-y um, kind of story. Um, it's, it's psychological, but it's not, uh, it's not overdone. It's still fun. It's still adventurous. And um, yeah, just give it a shot. Neuromancer... Um, Another Vertigo number one, it's a maxi series by Peter Milligan, and the artist is, I don't know him, her, it's someone named Parson. <laughs> Second name is Parson. Um, it's, it's fun, I, I'm a big Milligan fan, what can I say, I always enjoy his stuff, uh, I really like the names, and I know not everyone does, but I did, and um, the idea is really fun. Um, in that um, it's about um, another service, uh, so it's all about businesses, you know, and this one too. Uh, uh, it's exploration of startups, and this startup is about um, an algorithm uh, which can reproduce um, famous poets from the past, and um, this girl manages to to um, to get. Um, which one was it? I don't know anymore. Uh, I think it was Byron. Lord Byron. Um, a famous poet from the past into our present. And um, yeah, I think this this will be like the story. Um, how, how could someone from the past deal with our um, present? And um, also like how does romanticism and, uh, and, and love and everything match with our uh, technology-based present. So it's a fun number one. Um, you should check it out, but you can also wait for the trade, I think. Scarlet Witch number one by James Robinson and Vanessa Del Rey. Um, a very nicely drawn comic, um, which a uh, and, and a very moody one too. Um, it's, um, I really like the coloring again. Um, so, if you're into a more, um, well, let's say, again, vertigo -y take on, on, on superheroes, this might be something for you. I enjoyed it more than Doctor Strange number one, uh, which was a bit too goofy for my taste, um, but... <laughs> The story was kind of weak. Um, we got an introduction to, uh, to the character, but um, the story itself didn't really grab me. I will return for number for number two, but um, I'm, I'm sad that to hear that uh, every issue would be 
will be drawn by a different artist. I'm not sure this um, this will work out. Um, we'll have to see, uh, but it's I think it's one of Marvel's better efforts, um, and you, sh you should give it a try. Uh, this is a trade. Uh, we can never go home. It was a big hit in 2015. Um, one of the sleeper hits. Um, it's by Black Mask. Um, the artists are uh, newcomers. Um, uh, it's the artist by Josh Hood and Brian Level, and uh, it's written by Matthew Rosenberg and Patrick Kindlin. Um I have to say, for me, it was kind of a letdown. Um, if you have read Demo by uh, Brian Wood, um, you don't read. You don't need to read this uh, because you you basically read the story. If you haven't. Um, you should check out Demo and not buy this because, frankly, it's it's just um, I just didn't feel it. Um, the characters are very flat, and their emotional reaction um, reactions are not very believable. It's it's very much um, you can read that it's uh, it's um, you know two guys sitting together and thinking yeah we can do superhero stuff for reals and. Uh, what if blah 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 would happen? Oh, great idea! It's crazy. Let's do it. Uh, but it's just crazy. It's just far out there. Uh, it's it's like a pastiche of uh, stuff you already read. And as much as I want to support newcomers, um, I think with their next work, this this kind of story can grow. But um, f for the for a first timer, this sorry, I just didn't like it. And uh, also like the dialogues and everything is super cool and super tongue-in-cheek and it's it's just too much it's just not believable um, of course it's superheroes it doesn't have to be believable but they pretend it to be a more realist take on it so it's a pass for me um, and now we come to the highlight of December The Violin by Ed Brisson and Adam Gorham uh, colors by Michael Gar Garland and I love the art. Um, it's very near realist. Um, nothing fancy, but you don't need nothing fancy if you have a great story to tell. And Ed Brisson does. It's um, it's also um, I feel like uh, image with this and. Um, um, you know, the ringside, the wrestling book, and uh, th there are a few uh, neorealist, non-genre uh, kind of stories. Of course, there is some crime lurking there, um, um, but um, it's it's more about everyday life, and uh, this is why I, what, I, what I enjoyed the most about it. It's very believable. It's about a family. It's a family story. And um, about the struggle of everyday life um, of, um, of little people, people who who don't have a big incomes and uh, live in the city, cities which um, which increasingly become um, uh, too expensive for them to live in, uh, rents which are going up and up and up and up, and um, wages which are going down. Um, so um, this is where the violence comes from, from frustration, from not being able to live a normal life. And um, it's very well told. I was very, I was instantly hooked. And um, can't wait for number two. And uh, this is like this comes with the biggest possible recommendation. Um, so that's it for um, December. Probably we'll see. Maybe I will do a third video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, glad to have you back next time. Bye bye.